everyone to the do's and the do nots of writing a book review. The first thing that you'll need to do when you write a book review is to start with a bit of a summary. Firstly, don't include lots of details, but you'd like to give a general summary of what your text is about, much like the blurb on the back of a novel. Your summary should include information about maybe one or two of the characters. You don't need to outline them all. You do want to give the person who is reading your review a chance to discover this. One thing that you might want to tell someone as part of the review is, what's the main conflict? What struggle will the characters go through? Or perhaps what the main challenge is? This may entice the person to either read your review or reject it based off their personal interests. It's really crucial that you do not include any spoilers in your piece, such as the ending. In summary, here are some simple do's and do nots. Do mention the story's conflict. Do include the main characters. Do outline the important plot points. Don't give too much detail and don't include any spoilers. The next part of your review is called the overview. Now, this is the reason that you have selected the book. What were your preliminary thoughts? Why did you pick up this book in the first place? And you might want to make some initial comments like, does the story make sense? Are the characters well-defined and is there logic to their motivations? What moves the story forward? Is the ending really the ending? Again, without giving away all the specifics. Or could there be more to it? Some ways you might want to phrase your overview is, the story would have been more enjoyable for me if, or it would have made more sense for this character to and give an alternative, or I would have liked the end to include, and remember, don't give away the specifics of the ending. So the overview section can be best defined as your first impression. The do's and do nots of the overview. Do. Express your feelings. Do. Include your own views about what would have made the story more enjoyable for you. Do. Use the first person. I thought. I felt. I responded. I reacted. I chose. Because it's about you and your opinion. And you don't need to write an overly long overview. It is just your initial reactions you will go into more depth about the strengths and limitations in the next section. Now you can go on with more detail. It's really important that this next section includes both what you really loved about this book and what its strengths were, but also what are the weaknesses? You don't want to write a holistically positive review or a wholly negative review. Of course, you may swing more in one direction, but you still should consider all parts of your novel. Every book has both its strong and weak points. You might want to think about the characters, some that you really loved, maybe some that you really hated. What about the plot? Maybe there were some events that you thought were really interesting and others, maybe they were a bit slow. Maybe there could have been something better. What about the themes? Love, hate, fate, courage. What was your text about? Did you really enjoy those themes? Or would it have been better if it went in a different react in a different direction? Were you expecting it to go a different way and it didn't? And you're a bit disappointed. Then you can make a comment on the language itself. Was it too hard to read? Too many fancy words. Or maybe there wasn't enough for you. Maybe it was too simple. 
so feel free to comment on the language as well. Keep in mind, you don't have to like all of it. In terms of simple do's and do nots, do, be objective, think about strength and limitation. In this section, it may also be good for you to include some quotes to illustrate your text. Of course, keep writing in that first person. I thought, I feel. You can, in some ways, talk about the weak points first and then the strong ones, depending on whether you're writing a positive review or a negative review of this book. Although it's good to use some quotes from the book, please don't spend copious amounts of times rewriting parts of the book out. Only a couple of quotes are needed. Lastly, step four, the closing point. You want to have an end to your review. You want to use the closing point to tie everything together. You should recap what you liked and disliked using different vocabulary. Perhaps you could consider making a recommendation. If you liked this type of novel, perhaps this will suit you. So maybe have a think about what other books come from that particular genre or may interest that type of reader. What other products would they like? In closing, you may also wish to make a recommendation. Do you recommend this? Yes or no? Who do you recommend it to? What age group? What interest group? So keep in mind, do. Link your whole review together with a strong final opinion. Do. Mention other literary works with a similar story or theme for comparison purposes. Don't. Make your closing summary too long or too repetitive. It is okay at the end to also give a star rating. If you have any further questions, feel free to ask your classroom teacher and view our next video, which will go into more depth about how you can write a really killer review.